With the week coming to an end, new adventures awaited me. Well, it may be an incredibly windy day, but the week of wildlife work is over and I'm off to start the weekend of filming. No matter how often I roam Oregon's shores, I'm struck by how unique it always feels. Every visit, a new opportunity for exploration and adventure. New discoveries to be made. Objects brought in from the vastness of the ocean. Okay, I have no idea if any of this is going to be audible. It's so windy. But I really, really love all these little kind of shell critters down here on the driftwood. There's all sorts of creatures looking for any kind of ability to survive and find places to live they can out in the ocean brought to shore. The beach is a place where worlds meet, temporary beautiful patterns shifting with the tides. Some of the ocean's denizens become buried in the sands of time. Nature's forces constructing vast beauty in the stone. Here, the stories have no words. I find that some of my favorite places in nature are those where beauty is found at both small and intimate and epic scales, neither of which are in short supply in this land. Rocky sentinels carved by the crashing waves. Small scenes of breathtaking wonder. Windblown dunes softly conceal the treasures of ocean caves. Saturday was a day that things did not go according to plan. Good luck would conspire with the bad, and I got some adventure. All right, well, against all odds, getting some filming done. I was originally planning on climbing a mountain out here, but Murphy's Law struck and uh, my Jeep had a tire go flat. One of the, the lug nuts on the tire, the threads were bad, so I couldn't remove the tire and put on the spare. So I had to call in a vehicle to 
go get myself towed out and get a new tire. Got there just on time. So no mountain climbing, but just uh, another beautiful Southern Oregon beach. I'm gonna wander around for a little while while the daylight still exists. Unlike many of the beaches I've explored in Oregon, this hidden gem sands were a deep blue. Forms shaped by the ocean let the imagination run wild. Little turtle resting on the rock. Some driftwood. Where to explore? Nature points the way. With the last of the daylight coming, I jumped in the jeep and wandered in search of a sunset. The deep yellows of the golden hour never fail to amaze this wanderer. to some new places. So I'm gonna be heading to what looks like a super, super beautiful waterfall out by uh, Powers, Oregon. And this is an area that I really haven't explored before. I've got a couple of my mirrorless sites in this general area, but I really haven't spent much time going around and exploring and seeing what's out there. And uh, I looked into the All Trails app and it showed this thing called the Coquille River Falls. And it's basically a section of the Coquille River that has just these beautiful falls going off of the edge and like several waterfalls all lined together. And I haven't seen much from this place, so I'm excited to go out and see some new stuff in a new, new section of Oregon that I really haven't properly explored before. So it'll be fun. There's a deep pleasure to be had in wandering the unknown, making small discoveries a beauty. A joyful scene of a faraway place right at hand. From the river, a pair of waterfalls bring their violent flow to the wilds. I always wish I could capture my face when I first see various waterfalls and things. It's, you know, it's really hard to, to fake it, but they're always, always like, it's just super, super amazed look. Because I can hear them, I can just see the, the start of them, and I think it'd be quite beautiful. <laughs> This looks like a place for a vagabond with a drone. Epic wonder to your eyes.
next time.